In this question, we need to prove that the volume of the largest cone that can be inscribed in a sphere of radius r is 8 by 27 times the volume of the sphere. Here we have the sphere with radius r and we have inscribed a cone inside the sphere whose base radius is r and height is h. Now if I connect this line with center then this distance also will be r and if this angle is theta then the radius of the base of the cone can be written as r sin theta and this height can be written as r cos theta. So now in terms of capital R and theta height of the cone can be written as this distance r plus r cos theta that is equals to r 1 plus cos theta and the radius of the base of the cone will be equals to r sin theta and volume of the cone will be 1 by 3 pi r squared h that will be equals to 1 by 3 pi r squared sin squared theta into h is r 1 plus cos theta. So volume of the cone will be equals to pi r cube by 3 sin squared theta into 1 plus cos theta and we want to find the largest volume that is we want to maximize the volume of the cone with respect to theta. Now I don't want to write this pi r cube by 3 all the time so I will separate out sin squared theta 1 plus cos theta and call it function f theta sin squared theta into 1 plus cos theta and I want to maximize this with respect to theta. So to maximize f theta I need to put df d theta equals to 0 so df d theta will be derivative of f theta that is 2 sin theta cos theta into 1 plus cos theta plus sin squared theta minus sin theta this I can write as I can take sin theta common so I get sin theta 2 cos theta plus 2 cos squared theta minus sin squared theta this I can write as equals to sin theta 2 cos theta plus 2 cos squared theta minus 1 minus cos squared theta plus 2 sin theta 2 cos theta plus 2 cos squared theta minus 1 plus cos squared theta that will be sin theta into 2 cos squared theta plus cos squared theta will become 3 cos squared theta plus 2 cos theta minus 1. This is a quadratic expression in cos theta so I can factorize this by splitting the middle term. So sin theta into 3 cos squared theta plus 3 cos theta minus cos theta minus 1 equals to sin theta and from these two terms I can take 3 cos theta common so I am left with cos theta plus 1 from these two terms I can take minus 1 common I am left with cos theta plus 1 equals to sin theta cos theta plus 1 into 3 cos theta minus 1 and if I put df by d theta equals to 0 so this will become equals to 0 so this will imply sin theta equals to 0 cos theta equals to minus 1 and cos theta equals to 1 by 3. Now if sin theta is 0 then my cone will become just a straight line which is degenerate case again 
when cos theta is minus 1 theta will become pi that again will give me a straight line and that again is a degenerate case so sin theta equals to 0 and cos theta equals to minus 1 are not of interest so I am left with only cos theta equals to 1 by 3 and when cos theta is 1 by 3 we can find sin theta equals to square root 1 minus cos square theta that is equals to 1 minus 1 by 9 that is square root 8 by 9 or 2 square root 2 by 3. Now to check whether we have maximum or minimum at cos theta equals to 1 by 3 we need to find second derivative of f with respect to theta and I will differentiate this expression so d 2 f d theta 2 equals to cos theta 3 cos square theta plus 2 cos theta minus 1 plus sin theta into 6 cos theta and minus sin theta and minus 2 sin theta now d 2 f by d theta 2 when cos theta is 1 by 3 and sin theta is 2 root 2 by 3 will be so I will substitute cos theta equals to 1 by 3 and sin theta equals to 2 root 2 by 3 so that will be 1 by 3 into 3 into 1 by 9 plus 2 into 1 by 3 minus 1 plus 2 root 2 by 3 into minus 6 into 1 by 3 into 2 root 2 by 3 minus 2 into 2 root 2 by 3 that is equals to 1 by 3 here I can take 9 LCM so I get 3 plus 6 minus 9 plus 2 root 2 by 3 and from inside I can take 2 root 2 by 3 2 root 2 by 3 common so here it will be 2 root 2 by 3 squared minus and here is 3 will cancel 6 2 times so minus 2 and then minus 2 that is equals to this term is 0 so I am left with minus 4 into 8 by 9 that is equals to minus 32 by 9 which is less than 0 so we have maximum at cos theta equals to 1 by 3 or sin theta equals to 2 root 2 by 3 now the maximum value of the volume can be found by putting cos theta equals to 1 by 3 and sin theta equals to 2 root 2 by 3 in the expression for volume of the cone that is this expression so I get pi r cube by 3 sin 2 theta is 2 root 2 by 3 whole squared into 1 plus 1 by 3 that will be equals to pi r cube by 3 into 8 by 9 into and here I can take 1 by 3 LCM so I get 4 by 3 and that will be equals to 32 pi r cube by 81 now we want to find the ratio of this volume of cone with volume of sphere with radius r so volume of sphere will be 4 pi r cube by 3 so v upon vs will be 32 pi r cube divided by 81 divided by 4 pi r cube by 3 and here pi r cube will cancel pi r cube so I will be left with 32 upon 81 into 3 by 4 here 3 will cancel 81 27 times and 4 will cancel 32 8 times 
so that is equals to 8 by 27 so the volume of the cone will be equals to 8 by 27 vs so from this we can say maximum volume of cone that can be inscribed in a sphere of radius r will be 8 by 27 times volume of sphere